Hi, if you're new to my channel, my name is Carrie. Each week I use common kitchen and pantry ingredients to create good food for you and your family to enjoy on a budget. And this week we're gonna do a campfire dessert that we love to do as a family. Taking simple ingredients, putting them all together to create a delicious treat for you and your family to enjoy. Let's go learn how to make campfire eclairs. <laughs> I love Tessa. Tessa is such a willing participant. I love it. Perfect, Tessa. <laughs> For this recipe, you're going to need crescent rolls, pudding, whipped cream, and either cooking spray or tin foil to wrap around the sticks, which we'll show you in just a minute. So open that crescent roll container is the first thing you're going to do. Next, you're going to take a one inch doweling of wood and coat one end with your cooking spray. Take one section of the crescent roll and then you're going to wrap it around the end of the doweling which you've sprayed with cooking oil. What you're trying to do is to evenly spread the dough around the end of the dowel so that it also has a chance to cook evenly. So see there's a hole there so you're trying to make sure that it's one solid piece of dough and that it's shaped nicely around that dowel and nice and even. So here's another angle of the same thing wrapping it around again and so it doesn't matter how it's wrapped it's just that it's even and evenly spread over the dowel angle of seeing the dough wrapped around the doweling just so that all your bases are covered. Um, it's a simple quick wrap. It doesn't have to be detailed or perfect. It's just that. Now the other thing you can do rather than spraying it with cooking oil on the end is take tin foil and wrap the tin foil around the end of your doweling. We found that both methods work great. There's no difference in the two. It's just your personal preference on how you want to cover the ends of your stick. When you take the corner, this the big side, put it on the top, wrap it around, and make kind of Next is the fun part of any campfire cooking, and that is sitting around the campfire with friends and family and roasting the ends of your stick. The goal is to have it golden and cooked all around evenly, that no sides are burnt more than the other, and that you've cooked the end of the stick and also around the sides so that everything is evenly cooked and cooked all the way through. So now for the next step, and that is taking it off the end of the doweling. You can see that it's just a thin layer of crescent roll, and you fill it up with any flavor of pudding that you have. So some of the kids' favorites are chocolate, vanilla, or butterscotch, and they fill it up however full or not as full as they want. They get to choose. We let the kids choose their own amounts, and they have fun doing that. And the last and final step is to take your whipped cream and fill the remainder of the crescent roll cup with whipped cream. And there is your finished product. So let's do this one more time just so you can see how we do that. You've got the inside of the crescent roll. Now we're going to do vanilla pudding and fill up the container the exact same way as we did before.
And these are my two nephews. They wanted to show how they eat their crescent roll eclairs. And so there's the thumbs up for tasting delicious. They love it. This is something they look forward to every time we go camping. This is one of the desserts we do because it is requested by all the age groups of our family members. So hopefully you and your family enjoy it as well and learn how to make this simple campfire dessert for your family to enjoy. Toby gives this dessert two thumbs up. And one final picture of our campfire eclairs. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Click on that little bell to get notified when my new videos come out each week. And thanks for joining me this week on cooking around the campfire.